my Twitter war with uh, Innocent Smoothies continues. And um, just to prove a point, what does it say here? Beautiful looking design, isn't it? Really attractive. What does it say? Naturally good smoothie, 100% recyclable plastic, and never, not just underline, never added sugar, right? All guaranteed to reassure you, make you think this is good for the environment and good for your health. And nothing could be further from the truth because let's look on the back of the pack. Per 100 mil, 56 calories, not a lot of calories, but carbohydrates, 13 grams, and it's almost all sugar. So that's about four spoonfuls of sugar in 100 mil. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to drink 200 mils of it and we'll see what effect it has on my blood glucose. Cheers. Mmm, that is delicious. Mmm, I have to say I get, can understand why people drink these. They are absolutely lovely. Mm. So halfway through, let's take our blood glucose reading and see where we are. And then we'll see how it affects me over time. So I'm wearing my blood glucose monitor as usual. And there's the current reading about 6.8. And we'll follow it over the next couple of hours. I've done this on an empty stomach and we'll see what effect it has. Wow, that is way into the diabetic range. So what we're conducting is a little mini scientific experiment. Yesterday I drank 300 mils of innocent smoothies and you saw the effect. It took my blood glucose within half an hour way up into the diabetic range. It went, it went up from about 6 to about 12. Now, there is some considerable scientific evidence that there are certain supplements you can take which attenuate your blood glucose spike, one of which is allulose. So today's trial on a like for like basis is I will take 10 grams of allulose dissolved in a small drink of water, give it 10 minutes to work and then I will repeat yesterday's experiment and we'll just see what happens wearing the CGM. Okay so 10 grams of allulose in 150 mils of water, I'm going to drink it uh, cold water, I'm going to drink this now. I'm going to take my blood glucose reading and in 10 minutes I will uh, swap, uh, drink another 300 mils of Innocent Smoothie and we'll see what happens. You may remember yesterday I drank half a bottle of Innocent Smoothies on an empty stomach while measuring my blood glucose and it took my blood glucose from a normal range below 6 to way into the diabetic range and peaked at 12. And for the next many hours my body struggled to maintain uh, even balanced sugar levels. And allulose is supposed to reduce the sugar spikes. So now I'm going to uh, proceed to take another, the other half bottle of the um, Innocent Smoothie. And I have to say it's very lovely. Uh, I'll take my blood glucose reading again and we'll see what happens over the next 12 hours. Cheers. But just briefly, I want to reflect on what happened yesterday because you saw the massive sugar spike, right? Um, my blood glucose, which is normally flat and fluctuates hardly at all between about five and six, which is very healthy, went way up to, as you can see, 12. Um, it went up like a rocket and came down like a lead balloon. And 
uh, as you can see. I, I mean, that's way into the diabetic range. That small 300 ml drink of innocent smoothies doubled my blood glucose, taking me from the normal range to the diabetic range. But that's not the end of the story. Look what happened for the rest of the day. Can you see all the ripples there? So that is my body struggling for glucose control for a further 12 hours. Because once you have a hit of sugar like that, your body really struggles to control the ups and downs of the curve. And that's the sugar roller coaster that we all talk about. We had done this little experiment. Day one, I drank um, an innocent smoothie and it spiked my blood glucose way into the stratosphere, way into the diabetic range. And then for the next 24 hours, I struggled with my blood glucose control. And then on day two, I repeated the experiment, same dose of um, innocent smoothie. But before I drank the innocent smoothie, I drank some allulose. And allulose is supposed to reduce sugar spikes. What happened? Well, in a, in, in a word, it failed. We Not only was my uh, blood sugar not better on the second day of the second experiment, if anything, it was worse. So what conclusions can we draw? Well, you can't really draw any scientific conclusions from what we call as an N equals one experiment one off. You'd have to repeat it on multiple occasions with multiple foods and multiple people. But what we can say is that on this occasion, the allulose, despite my expectations, failed to lower my blood sugar spike. Um, and it looks like the blood sugar spike from innocent smoothies trumps all 